Hey, what's going on guys? Good morning. All right, I'm really excited about this video today. We are showing the very first video, the very first interviewee of the Launchpreneur series here, going around the country and showing you guys some of the young guns out there that are growing successful lawn and landscaping businesses. Shout out to Equip, Echo, and Stable for sponsoring this tour. More on Equip Expo in a minute, but the first guest, What's up, Gabe? What's up? How's it going? Good, bud. How you been? Doing pretty well. It's good seeing you. Yeah, you too. By the way, did we plan this with the matching uh, wine guards hats? So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, long story short, we're over here in, is this Livonia? Yeah, Livonia. Yep. Livonia, Michigan. And uh, we're going to do a little uh, setup tour, uh, show a couple jobs that he's been working on and a couple lawns that he's been mowing. But yeah. um, let's do this really quick. Before we jump into it, mm -hmm. give these guys like a two or three minute, maybe walk through an introduction about who you are, um, how you got started in lawn care, and uh, what you're excited about, man. Sure, so I'm Gabe. Um, I'm about, right now, about 15 properties a week, was up to 20. Um, and yeah, I I mow a bunch of lawns. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. That's awesome. How long have you been uh, cutting grass? Um, this is probably about my third year. Um, there's actually, there's videos of me push mowing my grandparents' lawn right around here. Yep. When I was like five or six with like, the, or not five, like eight maybe with the, the thing above my head. Oh yeah. And yeah, so, and I always like liked being outdoors, working outside. Yeah. I figured this is a great way to make money and be outside and stuff like that. Now, you, do you do this all during school and stuff like that or just during the summer months or how do you yeah, run so your business? Yeah, so I do it during school and usually during school I'll do it during the, um, like, weekends okay um but then during the summer i just do it on the weekdays and do all my landscaping jobs during the weekdays as well that's awesome man that's awesome yeah. and uh what what inspired you to get started cutting grass and uh, doing landscaping um i always liked like watching like that that neighborhood truck that as i was a kid going down the road or whatnot yep and i was like that'd be so fun to do that and and yeah, so basically that was that was always like what I wanted to be kind of, or every kid had that what they wanted to be type deal. Yep. And that was kind of for me what I wanted to do. That's awesome, man. Well, by the way, there's a big uh, big dog company over yeah. here. Some guys mowing grass and hedge trimming and yep. uh, look at you in a year or two, you're gonna be those guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, let's yeah. do this really quick. Um, we're going to uh, just take a quick peek at your equipment setup. Sure. Uh, we got a couple of jobs here that you were doing. You were just finishing up an irrigation repair. Yeah. Um, so we'll walk around through that and then maybe we'll finish up the video with an equipment setup. How about that? Absolutely. Well, let's do a quick peek. What do we got going on sure. here? Just a quick peek, because uh, yeah. you know how this goes, man. If we talk equipment, we'll be here all day. Oh yeah. So basically this is like a carry-on five by eight trailer that holds all my equipment. Um, I got the equipment, or no, green touch racks uh, for my backpack blower and trimmer. Um, yeah, I, let's see. See if we want to get into it somewhat. Red Max 7500. We got FS94R and then the Red Max uh, ATZ 3060. All right. Which if you don't have one, you should probably get one. They're, they just tear through everything. They're like the, the biggest model Red Max has. And yep. Yeah. And then you have a Quest Zero Turn Mower from yeah, Xmark? Xmark Quest E Series 42 inch. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Yeah. How, how were you able to get all this by 14, 15 years old? Reinvesting a lot. There not you go. spending money. Yep. Um, working towards it. I did like the building block thing. I started off with a 21 inch push mower. It's so, like, finally got enough to get a 30 inch push mower. Then from there, finally got enough to get a zero turn. Working up along the way. I started with like a Ryobi trimmer. Started working my up along the way with trimmers, edgers, and blowers. Yeah. So, yeah. Dude, good for you, man. All right, well, we're going to come back to this. We're going to finish up with this because I know everybody's going to want to see this, but we'll, we'll be here for seven or eight minutes. Yeah. But we'll uh, we'll keep it moving. So what what's some different things that you want to show us? Because you're mowing lawns. Yeah. You're doing irrigation and landscaping repairs. Yeah. Um, what do you like doing the most? And what do you, what do you find is, like, is your, uh, your favorite stuff to do? So I do like doing like irrigation repairs, drip irrigation, uh, installation, and whatnot. Um, I just like the flow of work it has. Um, so like over here, you can see I did a repair right here. You were just doing this like two minutes ago. Yeah, so right now it's really muddy and stuff. It was already muddy because I replaced it with a head that was spewing out water, so there wasn't any grass there in the first place. But once we get grass, once there's grass in there, it'll be looking fine. It'll be nice and even with everything. All right. And then, uh, so you've been doing a lot of irrigation stuff. Yeah, yep. Okay. What's, uh, what, why do you like doing all the irrigation work? Um, it's good money. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's, it's, I don't know. I like, I just like the flow of it and it's just something different to change it up just from mowing and stuff. There you go. All right. Well, uh, what else you got on this job? And then uh, we'll show so, some of the mow, the mow nothing, properties. Nothing too much yet, but I plan on, be, uh, I plan on doing a drip irrigation. All I'm following, I'm following you. Okay. So I plan on, um, converting these spray heads with a little conversion kit and i'm going to be planning on running drip line all throughout their entire front bed here okay um it's gonna look it's gonna look real nice um 
And basically, yeah, you just t you just take some of the heads, cap some, put some to drip, and then just run your drip line. And yeah, and then I'm also fixing a bunch of heads here. There's a couple leaking. Um, I'm fixing a bunch of nozzles too that were spraying too far on the concrete or whatnot. I'm just saving a little bit of water, I guess. Yep. And yeah. Talk to me uh, really quick. Um, you were pricing out this job. I said, well, how much are you gonna make on this? So do you got some loose numbers you're making on like this job, for example? So this one, um, it's gonna be $600, $700. Um, and I'll be making it in like 400 profit probably on it. And that'll take what, a day? A day, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. All yeah. right, uh, and then have you done some landscaping here too? Yeah, or just uh, no, ju just doing the irrigation stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. And then this way we've got some mow clients. Yeah, this is my grandparents that I mow. Um, and then I'm also mow that one over there. So how do you do? How do you set up all your mowing schedule? Because if you're in school, how do you how do you tote this whole thing around? Is this your car so, already? Are you already you already buying new cars or what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot with my parents. They'll help, or my uh, grandpa. He'll end up hopping in the car, and I'll just drive to him, stay on my permit, and whatnot. Okay. But it's a lot. It, it takes a little bit of thinking what to do, how to do it, and whatnot. Yep. But, yep. Yeah. Well, let's go look at your mow stripes, man. Sure. Uh, so you have that Quest. What is it? A, 40? a forty-two inch. Yeah. Forty-two. Yeah. And uh, how do you like mowing? Uh, it's fun. It's been a little, little different with one hand, but. Oh yeah, you have a. Uh, stitches. Stitches. Would yeah. you uh, slice that on uh, doing an irrigation repair? No, I'm the mandolin, cutting <laughs> zucchini up for dinner. <laughs> That's uh, well, as long as you still got the pinky there, right? Yeah. As long as we're not having a Jeremiah Jennings kind of incident. I don't need the pinky though. Who no, needs the pinky? It's all extra, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, all right, so stripe game. So how many lawns do you got? And uh, what, what's some advice to some of the other younger guys that are. 15, 17, 18 years old, they're just getting started. How, how are you picking up all these clients? Sure, so basically I mow about like 15 a week and the, uh, the way I like pick them up is um, I use different like apps, like for example, I use Nextdoor app as one of them. Um, and that was at first, I was like, hey, does anyone need their lawn mowing? I was more like the neighborhood kid. Now a lot of it goes word of mouth. Now I haven't had to work too much on the marketing and I've had people come to me and more than I've had to go reach out for people. Okay, okay. Do you like use like yard signs or anything yet? Or I flyers? have used yard signs. I've used yard signs before um, in this yard and whatnot. I like yard signs and I also make little flyers with paper or whatnot. Yep. Tuck them in underneath doormats or whatnot. Cool. Yeah. Give me some tips for cutting grass, man, because you got some pretty no nice looking stripes, and uh, a lot of guys want to know how, how do they how do they mow grass? How do they make great stripes like uh, Gabe's lawn care? Sure. So, um, I'd say tip to tip is really important. Um, also, good lighting too. If you don't have the lighting, then they won't really look good. So we're kind of lucky here with the lighting this way. Yep. Um, cut higher, too. Cut, the higher you cut it, the uh, most of the time, the more. The better the stripes. Yeah, the better the stripes are. So this is at three and three quarters. I cut this Monday. Today's Friday, so you can still see it there pretty well. Yeah. So this was already four days ago, five yeah. days ago. Wow. So yeah. So when they're when they're fresh, they're pretty bright. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, um, let me ask you this: Where do you want to go with the company? Because you already got uh, a bunch going on. You're 15, uh, about to get your driver's license another year or so. Yeah. And uh, where do you want to take the company from here? So eventually, I'd like to be able to get like one or two crews on lawn care. Okay. Um. Or maybe more, more like sooner. I'd get one crew on lawn care, and then I'd go out do quotes, and then do irrigation jobs and irrigation quotes, something like that. While I have a crew going out and mowing lawns, that's kind of like where I'm at right now. You know, that could change. Who knows? But that's kind of where I'm at for now. Yeah. Do you have any buddies that help you out, or how, how do you um, uh, how do you get everything done if you, you get rain days and all that sure. stuff? Sure. So I have my friend help me out, um, and he he's just he's newer, but he's learning and stuff how to trim, how to blow whatnot so yeah there you go man well good for you yeah well i, I see you having uh, big things happening over the next couple of years man yeah um you want to talk equipment for a few minutes because sure. i know this is your pride and joy yeah um by the way you've done mulch jobs we've done yeah. leaf cleanup jobs yeah um some people remember last fall we did a leaf cleanup job right. together yeah um what's let's go in the in the shade real quick yeah, yeah. Uh, just some better lighting but what um what's some things that you've learned along the way because um, yeah. I'm sure you've you've made money. I'm sure you've maybe lost some money. Yeah. Uh, so how? Give me some tips of like things you've learned, maybe like the hard way. All right, guys, we're gonna do a quick transition here, and then we're gonna get back to Gabe's Lawn Care over there in Novi, Michigan. Are you guys enjoying this tour and this series? I'm telling you what, Gabe is doing an amazing job. We got his whole equipment set up here in just a quick second. By the way, doing videos like this, as you guys know, and doing little tours and series and zipping across the country, nothing's cheap, nothing's free. It takes a lot of time, energy, and effort. And so we wanna say a quick thank you to the three tour sponsors again, which are Equip, 
Echo, and Stable. That being said, about Equip, we have the world's largest trade show for the greed industry space here, going on October 18th through the 21st down in Louisville, Kentucky. We hope to see you guys there. I got a quick little promo video that I wanna show you guys, and we're gonna run it back and see the rest of Gabe's lawn care and his equipment setup. That being said, if you guys can support Stable, if you guys can support Echo, or maybe get your ticket to Equip Exposition down in October in Louisville, Kentucky, that would be the thing to do. Big thank you and shout out to those guys again. All right, that being said, guys, let's jump back over to Novi, Michigan with Gabe's Lawn Care right after this. Us landscapers like to play on toys, right? We like to go outside and get dirty. Uh, it'll help tremendously um, learning about the equipment and actually getting to get hands-on with the equipment and learning how it works and how it's going to specifically fit into our business. We come here because we do a lot of outdoor activities, lawn, landscapes, everything else in between. What I like about it, it's still real hands-on. like to go out like in the outdoor area to sample some of the bigger machines, talk to the people that have created the machines, and find out what's best to meet our needs. I'm looking forward to getting out and doing some demo on the equipment out there as well. This outdoor demo area is the best thing that you could ask for because you can see all this equipment and try it. So a little transition here. Uh, we wanted to show one of the landscape jobs and uh, yeah. actually one of the drip irrigation jobs. Yeah. I haven't seen a ton of drip irrigation work personally. Um, I know a lot of guys do it obviously in landscaping. I'm more yeah. of a maintenance guy. But uh, this is one of your uh, brainchilds that you just put this whole thing together at uh, your grandparents' house. Yeah. So this is another example of what you're getting into. Uh, walk us through, man. What do you got? So I, I ended up putting all weedberry fabric down here um, and to install drip irrigation. But okay. What I did over here is originally they had a rotor head mounted on here. Okay. Um, and th those are just inefficient, inefficient during like the when like the, the water gets on the leaves and stuff. Plus, like I know most uh, they have it in the morning, but like you can have this drip irrigation go any time of the day. No one will ever notice. Okay. Um, and yeah, so basically, I, this is basically a kit. It's a 1800 retro, um, and basically has a screen filter. And this one might have a regulator. I'm not 100 percent sure. But basically, then I run half inch all along. Um, so then this this is like um, they also have a drip line with in emitters with emitters already in it. So like for example, if you have like a line of boxwoods, that's what you'd want to use. But if you have more um, periodic like plants or whatever you want to say, um, that's when this stuff's a little bit better because you get it right to the root and you're not wasting any more water. Yep. So basically, you just puncture. You have these little punch tools. Um, then you puncture into there, then you put a little uh, straight barb, then you take your quarter inch line and run it, it's like that right there, you run it with these little emitters right here. And so these are your emitters which uh, give your water to your plants, um, they have different uh, gallon per hour emitters, like so most of the time I'll use two, uh, two of these, if they're like something like this, I've, there's a couple, there's another one over there too, okay. that's why that's all dug up, but yeah, so you basically run it all here, and the best thing about drip irrigation, is that you can expand it. So we didn't have this bed ready yet. So what I'm gonna do is just cut into the half inch, put a T that way, and I'm just gonna continue it under underneath the fence and continue it on there. Look at so that. Basically you can expand it whenever you want. And yeah. This is one of the things that you've been getting into and you love doing yeah. irrigation. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, that's really, really cool. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, let's keep it going. Um, by the way, you've done mulch jobs. We've done yeah. leaf cleanup jobs. Yeah. Um, some people remember last fall we did a leaf cleanup job right. together. Yeah. What's some things that you've learned along the way? Because I'm sure you've you've made money. I'm sure you've maybe lost some money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how? Give me some tips of like things you've learned, maybe like the hard way. Um, definitely not charging enough. That okay. was definitely one of my biggest problems. I'd be like, oh, they're not gonna like this or. Or basically, they're not gonna they're not gonna want to pay this. Not being very firm. straightforward and firm with my prices. Yeah. Yep. Uh, have you ever done like a? Do you mean my, my, just mowing or leaf cleanups or almost anything? Not as much mowing because mowing it's like it's pretty kind of straightforward for me. I feel like. Okay. But it's definitely on those leaf cleanups that end up getting me where I'm like, should I do this? And I was getting I'm better at it now, but at first it was definitely like uh, this or that. Do you, and, yeah. do, do you feel anybody's like? Tried to, I don't want to say take advantage, but tried to get a yeah. pull pull one over on you because you're younger. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's uh, we've yeah. all been we've all been there. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's talk about the uh, the pride and joy. This is your trailer sure. setup. Mm -hmm. Um, so many young guys, they they want to get the nicer equipment. You're reinvesting in your rig. You want to go take a look at that? Absolutely. So basically, I went with Green Touch for everything. Um, they're not bad. 
I, I like them a lot. However, I'd say I'd go with Equipment Defender next if I need to get new racks. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, one of these things, I know these things are, are awesome right here. These are called cargo buckles. Cargo buckles, okay. Pull it off. Oh, look at that. It's like a seatbelt thing. Here, show me cool. that one more time. Sure. So, it's on. You just lift it up. Pull it off. Look at that. Pull it on. Ratchet it. Yeah. And you're good to go. <clears throat> Where did you get those? I got them on Amazon. It was like 70, 80 bucks for the set. Totally okay. worth it. I was tired of sticking a ratchet strap to the mesh, to the mesh, ratcheting it on, and it gets stuck. Yep. It's tired of ratchet straps, so. That's actually pretty dope. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. No, yeah, they're really cool. Um, what size trail are you rocking here? This is a 5 by 8 carry on from Tractor Supply. 5 by 8 okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, now going on to, I mean, it's definitely good. I mean, at first I just had a, t a Toro Time Master on my 30 inch. Okay. Um, but then I decided to get my Quest and this, and I knew I could fit like a, maybe like a stand on or a zero turn, which it does. But now I'd, I'd like to fit more equipment on there, maybe my 30 inch, because you, I could fit my 30 inch, but it doesn't, doesn't work too well. So okay. it's just too much hassle with that. Yeah. But, yeah. So um, five by eight, you got the Quest 42 inch. Yeah. Uh, you got a, what is that, a Kohler 22 horsepower? Uh, yeah, yep. All and right. It works, it works good for all that, or all bagging and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you have a bagger, because we did uh, We did the leaf cleanups, We yeah. did those leaf cleanups. We were just talking on the podcast. Th this thing is mean. It's it, it works really well on gas. It just screams. Okay. It does not stop. Yep. I'm my FS94R. Okay. This is the one that you gave me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I we uh, I happened to see up at Weingart's one day. Yeah. And this is before I knew you. And uh, well, I, I knew you, but only like once or twice. Right. And uh, we just we just got you a trimmer. You know, yeah. it's all good. Uh, which one is that? The FS94. FS94. Okay. Yeah. Like rock and roll. This one is it's really nice. It was nice and light. Yep. Um, however, like I did some ditch and stuff and some thicker stuff. And it kept up, but it, I would like to be able to walk like faster with it, where I had to like slowly go. Okay. So soon, I'd like to get a bigger trimmer. Okay. And definitely a bigger blower. My bigger blower is going to be my probably next purchase for this fall, so I can have two people on blowers. That's just going to make, make us really efficient. Yeah. Um, this is the Red Max seventy uh, EBZ seventy five hundred. Okay. Um, and this this thing I've had for a few years, but. Yeah, it works really nice. There you go. And then this, this is all my irrigation stuff, actually. Yeah, show me this because this is kind of yeah. unique. So in the drawers here, this is all my regular irrigation stuff. We got like, pressure gauge, blow torch, nozzles. Um, yeah, not too much in here. Some risers. This one's more my uh, drip irrigation stuff. Uh, cutting tree roots, which I just put in there for this job, actually. Yeah. Uh, filters, uh, pressure regulators all bunch of stuff oh marking flags i don't these might not be the right color but i just mark them really quickly so I, then i turn off the system okay uh and here's all my drip irrigation parts my business cards and all this stuff what so yeah and you pay for all this absolutely this is awesome man yeah uh, and, this then... is, and this is all like my uh little button emitters and whatnot and all stakes so then here let's take a quick peek into the bottom one look at that right here you can see these knee pads okay strap onto your knee these ones are nice there you go then here's your quarter inch tubing half inch and you learn how do you learn all this stuff just youtube watching a bunch of content watching hundreds of videos on it dude that's awesome yeah <laughs> then a measuring mill too which is cool. you find a bunch of uses for it i just keep it in there yeah um this one's just a nice little one but i used it for mulch and stuff and it like stands out yeah so look at yeah. you that's awesome man yeah all right dude well uh I think that's what we got uh, for today's video. Yeah. Uh, we actually just got done shooting a podcast. Yeah. Uh, so check out the Full Lieutenant Filter podcast. We'll leave a link in the description. Uh, where can people find it if they want to keep up with you? Uh, Gabe Lunker on Instagram. Uh, Gabe Lunker LLC on YouTube, which I only have like a few videos on. I'll probably post more soon. And then Gabe Lunker on Facebook as well. Dude, that's awesome, man. Well, thanks yeah. again. Hey, uh, really quick. You want to you wanna check out something really quick? I got some gifts for you. Sure. Come here. Follow me really quick. Okay. Uh, so last year you went to Equip Expo. Yeah. And uh, we also know that Stable and Echo are sponsored to this tour. Yeah. So here, I got some cool stuff I want to show you. Awesome. And you don't know that I'm giving you any of this stuff. No. Okay, we didn't plan this. First off, check this out. Wow. This is from Stable. This is for a big thank you for doing this whole tour with us and a podcast. Uh, let's do this really quick. Bring that over here. Okay. And I'll show you. Let's let's take a quick peek through it. Sure. And I'll show you uh, what we got inside. But this is a little gift bag from Stable. Nice hat. Got a little hat here. Stable. Awesome. 360 degree protection. I use this stuff 
I use it all the time in my trimmers and stuff. Okay. Actually, I use something like this. Yep, the red and can. I yep. just, and I just, some, sometimes I'll just keep it in there just so I don't have to worry about gas going bad. There you go. Uh, fogging fogging oil. oil. Yep, you can use that in the fall. Make sure everything's winterized correctly. Awesome. And then uh, I'm actually kind of curious too because uh, I haven't even looked inside the bag. Let's see, ceramic Pro Guard. There you go. For snow blowers and snow mowers. That's awesome. Yep. What is this Fast Fix? Yep. Hmm. Never heard of this. I think they sent you one of everything. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what that is either. <laughs> we'll learn together. <laughs> see, blade, blade guard. guard. Yep. That, that's cool. That way you can clean up your hedge trimmers yeah. or your chainsaws. Carburetor, choke, and parts cleaner. A little bit of everything. Awesome. My buddy John at Stable sent everything. Awesome, that's cool. You got a Stable pen. pen. Yep. Some shirt. Some shirt, some swag. Nice. There you go. I have a sticker wall. I'm going to put those stickers on the sticker wall. Yep. Let's see, another shirt. There you go. Hold that up. Let's see how that fits. Yeah. Okay. Might be a little big. No, that no, actually fits. Work. That yeah. works. Awesome. There you go. And then uh, here, come with me really quick. Uh, let's. Let me do okay, this so it doesn't them. blow away. Yeah, there we go. All right, here in the the back seat, I got the camera, so you're gonna have to grab this. Okay. All right, you, you grab that echo box, would you? Sure. <clears throat> All right, so the team and the folks over at Echo, they wanted to hook you up with something, and so this is a 2620 handheld leaf blower. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's yours, bud. That's I probably worth 150, 200 bucks. And Thank so, you. do you have a good handheld blower right now? Um, it's not, old. Old one? It's not the best brand. Well, there you go. Here, we'll yeah. set this on the tailgate. But uh, this is from Echo. And I just want to say thank you for uh, for participating in the tour. So this is a uh, little freebie for you. Awesome. Thank you very much. And then one last, one last thing. Uh, you went to Equip last year. Yeah. If you're going again this year, they're going to comp your ticket. And they're going to give you two free classes to any education you want. So it's wow. like a hundred and seventy something dollar value. Wow. So if you want to check out like an irrigation or the pool and spa, uh, you know, training classes. Oh, cool. Or any of the other lighting kind of classes or anything else they have education wise, that's from Equip. They want to say thank you as well. Awesome. That's thank all, you very much, guys. That's all you, bud. So yeah. all right, man. We'll button up right here. Great job. Yes. And thank you. uh we'll catch up with you here before you know it, all right? Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that interview with Gabe and Gabe's Lawn Care over here in Novi, Michigan. He did such a great job. He was such a great sport, and you can tell he was just super excited about his business, and rightfully so, man. He's got a lot of great things going on. Hey, so really quick, we'll wrap up with this. We are doing a six-part series here with this playlist highlighting some teenagers across the state and across the country. This is the very first interview, the very first episode. I'll make sure to leave a playlist here and some cards and end screens here as the other interviews pop up. If you guys are a young teenager just getting your business started, leave me some comments down below why are you guys getting started in business what does your equipment look like right now and what is your guys plans for the future I'd love to know by the way I got started at Gabe's age back at 10 12 years old and you know what you can have a successful lawn care business just a handful of years later that being said guys really appreciate Gabe's support really appreciate the sponsors check out these other great videos in the playlist here and don't forget to tune back every Monday over the next six weeks for the rest of the videos in this tour and series all right over now guys make it a great day and we'll catch up with you here on the next one